There's no one above me. There's no one beneath me. I can talk as loud as I want. I can scream. but you can call me Chin for short. That is what everyone calls me. Thank you so much for being here. I'm really excited to be sharing my new home with you guys. I'm going to be doing a empty home tour. So basically today I am going to be showing you guys around my mobile home. This is my first ever mobile home. Pretty much empty. There is not much in here. No furniture and any of that stuff. I'm waiting for the movers to get a date and everything so that I can transport my stuff into the home and I am just so excited. I'm just ready to decorate. This time around you guys it's just more excitement it feels better it feels right and i'm just ready all right so let's tour the mobile home shall we let's go Alrighty, so this is the main entrance to the mobile home it has pretty much just wooded railings and wooded flooring except for the steps which is concrete and it did not look like this i had to use bleach because it had like mold on it which was like a little green color and i did not like the way that it looked so i really sprayed it down and i did my thing to make it look a little bit more presentable so this is the amount of yard space that i have and i just love it so much and this is my little porch areas i'm definitely going to be fixing this up it's not going to look like this i'm going to get maybe some fake grass and some you know decor out here to make it look a little bit more better so once we're inside of the home directly to the right i do have my kitchen area and i am in love with the flooring on this mobile home it just looks so good and there are two windows in the kitchen one with the air condition and just one without this little area right here where the cleaning su supplies are i'm thinking about getting like a little table like a little dining room table and just making that like my little dining room section so i can eat you know with like maybe two chairs or something like that just to make it look a little bit more decorable i don't know <laughs> And then we do have a standard refrigerator, obviously the freezer and the fridge. And I don't have much except for some water, little sodas, which I actually got for free. That's the only reason why it's in my fridge. And some Gatorade. Now, up top, we do have quite a few cabinet space. And check out this cabinet the way that it actually closes you guys like when you slam it it doesn't slam it it's one of those where you just it yeah like that so it just takes a time to close which i thought that was just like really cool <laughs> that was a really cool design so yeah i do have quite a few um storage space here i don't have a pantry so hopefully everything could fit in these storage that I do have. And I do love this black spl backsplash that's in the kitchen. Um, I just find that it looks so good. Like it's not hard when I was touching it. It just feels very like boardish. So I think it's just one that they just cover up the board and just makes it look really nice. And obviously, you know, your standard kitchen stuff. You have a backlight and also the fan and this stove is not a gas stove it is a electric stove and i do have granite countertops all over the counter and a double sink this sink is a little small but i think it'll work okay so directly underneath the sink i only have cleaning products at the moment these are just cleaning products that i bought when i was cleaning the entire home and I also bought some garbage bags and some gloves. So these cabinets are definitely roomy. It's roomy enough to store my pots and my pans, my forks and my knives. 
um just some like around the house you know essentials like my drills and um cords and just a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff so there's plenty of room so i am not worried whatsoever and i do have a microwave and look how nice and bright and white these lights are in the kitchen and also the living room space i absolutely was sold on this because of that that was one of the main reasons so this is pretty much an overview of the living room space i cannot wait to get my sectional in here and see how everything fits and everything looks i'm also going to be mounting a tv on the wall directly to the right now this home also came with a fireplace it is an electric fireplace i it has the remote control but for some weird reason i don't know if i need to change the battery but i can never get it to turn on i just have to press the button on the physical yeah just like that on the fireplace itself look how beautiful that looks i think you can change the colors and you know just play around with the settings and things like that so when i get some time i'll sit down and figure it out um but i cannot wait until well no i can wait but i think it's going to be so beneficial especially during the winter months when it gets a little bit colder okay so as you're coming out of the living room you go straight down this little hallway and directly to the left is the bathroom that is the first door on the left and as you can see it has a little damage to the door which is fine i'll find something to cover that up with but you guys, this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the home is the bathroom. I've never had a spacious bathroom like this before and I've been dying to have one and I finally have one. Look at all this counter space I have. I can finally put my vlogging camera up there and not worry too much about, you know, not having space. There's plenty of cabinet space all throughout this vanity. Um... It is a little bit on the older side. It is definitely not a modern vanity because of the little brown, um, you know, like the furniture looking color, which I'm not really too fond of, but I mean, it'll work. I, once again, just am obsessed with the space in the bathroom and I just love it. The mirror, the lighting, I think I'm going to change these bulbs out because it is yellow. So I do want more of a daylight bulb for when I'm doing my makeup. And this is just my shower. And right next to the shower is this little open board wooden area. I guess it's just good for storage, but I don't like it open like that it just doesn't look good so i think i'm gonna just put maybe like a curtain there to hide it so it looks a little bit better so straight down the hallway is going to be my bedroom and personally i think it's a pretty decent size but i said the same about my other luxury apartment so um when i moved everything in it definitely took up more space so we shall see when i move everything in that's just my blow up bed that i sleep on for the meantime and the room actually has two windows which i will be getting some curtains for and whoop -doo 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 -doo. this is the main event my backyard i am so obsessed with it it is just super roomy and like i said i'm gonna grab some stuff out here probably get like a hammock or you know um a swing or something that just gives me like a peaceful vibe so i can read a book and just relax and there's so much greenery so much trees around it is just so divine <laughs> when i moved in i literally cleaned this place from top to bottom i really wanted to make sure that it was sanitized and just everything was clean like super squeaky clean from top to bottom so when i got here i cleaned everything i cleaned the walls when I say I had soap and water and, <laughs> excuse me, and my little bucket and I cleaned top to bottom, the walls, the cracks of the windows, every single thing. As I was showing you outside, I also realized that there were a little bit of like mold 
on the, on the outside like of the steps and also on the railing and i didn't like that it didn't look good because i was pulling in one day and i was like Ooh, i don't really like how that looks so um i was asking around and i also went on youtube to try to figure out how to get rid of the molds which is that like that little green stuff and um everyone basically saying get bleach bleach kills the mold so that's exactly what i did so i got some bleach and i um just had like a little spray bottle and i sprayed um, I actually bought a brush because I thought I was going to need to really scrub it, but no, it was so easy and I was so grateful because honestly, I didn't want to do all that work. <laughs> well, it was really easy. So I just had like a little spray bottle and I just basically just sprayed it onto the concrete and also the railings and it literally went back the original color. So that was perfect. So when I pulled in the next day, I was like, yeah, I did a great job. I loved it. So I was really excited about that. I'm just a very visual person and I just really want to make sure, especially where I'm laying my head, I just really want to be comfortable. I still have some more yard work to do actually. I have to get a rake because I do want to like rake up some of the leaves and stuff that's like in the front. And so as you can see on the porch, it needs to also be swept. I still haven't done that yet because I've just been busy with work, you know, just trying to get everything situated. So I really haven't had the time yet. So, um, yeah, so but everything is pretty much coming together. I have to go and buy decorations. And another thing is I do need to get a security system. Um, that's actually one of the first things that came to my mind. One, preferably, that I can also see on my phone. So whenever I'm not home, I can, you know, still see what's going on when I'm not home, basically, you know. So um, if you guys have any security systems that you would recommend me to check into and that you personally love, please leave them comments down below. I would love to weigh my options. I know about the ring. Um, that's an option for me. And also when I get my Wi-Fi, because I think my Wi-Fi company does provide that as well. I'm going to get lights, actually. Um, there are some lights in the front, but they're not really as bright. So I'm going to get some brighter lights because I don't like when I'm coming home. It's, you know, obviously dark, but it's not like late dark. It's just dark and I need to be able to see. And um, yeah, so I'm going to get some lights in the back and also in the front porch. Also going to be getting um, some um outside stuff like maybe i'm thinking maybe like a little swing so that i can put on the the tree either a swing or what's that thing called a hammock either a hammock or a swing something that's relaxing so that you know even on a nice sunday evening i can just you know go out there with my book and just um just relax and i really love the fact that like there is just so much greenery around. I can walk outside barefooted, I can ground. I have a lot, a lot of land space to myself. I, I always wanted to get into gardening, but you know, we'll see, we'll see um, if I still have that passion or that desire, that would be interesting. Um, I actually do wanna get some plants too. I'm gonna decorate the front. So, oh, I do need to get a, like a, something to go on the porch, but you know, we'll figure it out. You guys are gonna be on this journey with me. So you're gonna see what I'm doing. Um, I do need to go to Lowe's and get some plants. As you can see, the porch isn't the most beautiful -est, So I do wanna get some fake grass or something to kind of lay over the board. Hey Chin Gang, I am so sorry but my camera died in the middle of me explaining what I was going to be doing to the porch area. So yeah, pretty much I'm gonna get some kind of decor, fake grass or you know, something to lay over the board so that it does not look the way that it's looking right now because it just looks very plain and blah and ugly if I would just be honest. And I don't like it looking like that. So yeah, I am just going to really deck it out and and turn this entire mobile home upside down <laughs> all right so make sure you stay tuned if you want to see how i decorate and turn around my mobile home thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again